Hello everyone, welcome to Study to Light. This is weekly current affairs series and this is the last part of weekly current affairs series for the month of April. In this video, we will cover most important questions of current affairs from April 26th till April 29th. So let's begin. First, let us see question for the day. You have to answer this question in the comment section. And in the next part, that is on Saturday when we will upload the next part of this weekly current affairs, we will see how many of you have answered the questions correctly in the comment. So let's see the question. Who was named the ambassador of the campaign? I am badminton. These are the options. Read the option carefully and then answer. While last day, those who have answered the question correctly were Noor Sabha, Sai Ram, Akhila Akhi, Gopinath, Krishna Kant, Kalyan Panuganti, Katatam, Esar, Rekha, Ansujha, Balaji Gopal, Borte, Jeevan, Neeraj, Satyanath Reddy, Abhilas Kavuri, Aftab, Rohit Chakravarti, Vishesh Kadam, Navang Palden, Murti Karela, Suman Bala, Hema Arun, D. Das, Pusran Jum, Tuba Shumaya, Abhishek, Mashaba Khatun and Sri Hari. So all of you are answering all the questions almost in every video. So everyone be consistent in answering and those who are not answering, please start answering. And those who are continuously watching this series as well as the daily current affairs series on my another channel should be taking test every week, which I organize on Monday. I will share that test or the video of that test at the end. If you have not taken that test yet, then tap on that video and solve all the questions. Then. Tell in the comment section how much questions you have correctly marked. So let's begin the first question. Ambu Bachi Mela is organized in. So Ambu Bachi Mela is organized in Assam. So here B is the right answer. This Ambu Bachi Mela is organized from June 21st till 25th of June every year. This festival marks the annual menstruation of presiding goddess in the Kamakya temple, which is located in Gohwati in Assam. And Kamakya is one of the 51 Sakti Peets or the holy sites for the followers of Sakti cult. Sakti Peets, Sakti Peets are those places which are considered to have or believed to have different body parts of Goddess Sati, who is also called as Sakti. And this temple is situated on Nilachal Hills, which is in Assam. And it is in news because in the wake of COVID-19 pandemic, the annual Ambubachi Mela in Assam will not be organized this year. Next question now, Naipur River flows into. So this Naipur River flows into Black Sea. It actually flows into Russia and then it enters into Black Sea. And this river passes through Chernobyl. And that is why this river is in news because 26th of April is designated as International Chernobyl Disaster Remembrance Day. This Chernobyl disaster is very infamous nuclear disaster. It happened on 26th of April 1986. Next question now. International Dance Day is observed on. So International Dance Day is observed on April 29th. So here A is the right answer. This day marks the birth anniversary of Jean Corges Novere, who lived during 1727 till 1810. He was the creator of modern ballet. Remember the name? Jean George Navre and UNESCO formally recognized International Theatre Institute to be the creator and organizer of this International Dance Day. And next question, what is the global expenditure on military in 2019 as per the recent CIPRI report? So it is approximately 2 trillion US dollar. See, it is approximately 2 trillion, not completed 2 trillion US dollar. And Russia is the fourth largest military spender while Saudi Arabia is the fifth largest military spender. Who are the top three then? The first is United States of America at second. There is China at third. There is India. And Pakistan is ranked at 24th. So remember the rank of these six countries, top five and then the rank of Pakistan. Pakistan has been ranked at 24th. And in 2019, the expenditure was 2.4% of India's GDP. There was approximately expenditure of more than 71 billion US dollar. 
एंड सिप्री सिप्री स्टैंड फॉर स्टॉकहोल इंटरनेशनल पीस रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट सिप्री रिलीजेस इट्स एनुअल रिपोर्ट टाइटल्ड एज ट्रेंड्स इन वर्ल्ड मिलिट्री एक्सपेंडिचर आई रिपीट इट्स रिपोर्ट इज टाइटल्ड एज ट्रेंड्स इन वर्ल्ड मिलिट्री एक्सपेंडिचर इट वॉज इस्टेब्लिश्ड इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी सिक्स इन स्वीडन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ विच हॉस्पिटल बिकेम द फर्स्ट गवर्नमेंट हॉस्पिटल टू लॉन्च प्लाज्मा थेरेपी टू ट्रीट कोविड नाइन्टीन इन द कंट्री सो इट इज जॉर्ज मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी इन उत्तर प्रदेश इट हैज बिकम द फर्स्ट हॉस्पिटल गवर्नमेंट हॉस्पिटल इन द कंट्री टू लॉन्च प्लाज्मा थेरेपी वॉट इज प्लाज्मा थेरेपी इन दिस प्लाज्मा इज टेकन फ्रॉम अ पर्सन हु हैज बीन रिकवर्ड फ्रॉम कोविड नाइन्टीन and plasma of that person is transplanted to a severely affected covid-19 patient so that antibodies of this person may be transplanted to this affected person and it will help him to boost its immunity and fight against corona virus next question now laser interferometer gravitational wave laboratory in short called as ligo is located in so this ligo is located in United States of America. So here B is the right answer. You have to remember here the full form of LIGO: Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Laboratory. It is a large-scale physics experiment and observatory to detect cosmic gravitational waves. See, we have LIGO, which help us to receive gravitational waves coming from thousands and thousands of years or light years away. and these gravitational waves were generated thousands or even millions and billions of light years away because of several phenomena may be burst because of burst of some stars or collision of black holes and this ligo there are two ligo observatories the first one is located located in hanford site in washington and the second one is located in livingston which is in louisiana united states remember both these places the first one is located in washington and the other one is in livingston and this ligo is in news because it has recently recorded the first merger of black holes that were of unequal masses the first one was approximately 30 times the mass of sun while the other one was approximately 8 times the mass of sun next jarina hasmi passed away recently was a famous so jarina hasmi was an artist so here b is the right answer jarina hasmi lived during 1937 till 2020 she was an indian artist living and working in united states of america and jarina hasmi was associated with minimalist movement her work utilized geometric forms in order to invoke a spiritual reaction from the viewers next question now which state government has launched dhanvantri scheme so this dhanvantri scheme has been launched by the state of assam this dhanvantri scheme will help to provide medicines to the people in assam next question jagananna vidya divana scheme so this jagananna vidya divana scheme is launched by andhra pradesh so here a is the right answer and under this scheme fee reimbursement for iti btech b pharmacy mba mca and b ed courses will be credited directly into mothers account instead of college account for the year of 2020 2021 next question who has been nominated by president trump as us envoy to oecd so manisha singh has been appointed as us envoy to oecd that is organization for economic cooperation and development manisha singh is an indo american and organization for economic cooperation and development was formed in the year of 1961 it has 36 members and oecd is headquartered in paris which is in france remember the headquarter and the year of its establishment that is 1961 next question how many official languages are there in united nations so there are six official languages in united nations and this was the previous year question next question now sakharov prize for human rights 2019 was given to so the sakharov prize for year 2019 was given to ilham tohti remember the name ilham tohti 
so here d is the right answer this award has not been given in 2020 yet whenever it will be given we will have an update so till now we have to remember for year 2019 ilham tohti and he was former professor of economics at a Beijing University and in 2014 he was sen sentenced to life in prison following a so trial and he worked for right of Uyghur Muslims. Uyghur Muslims are minority in China particularly in Xinjiang province of China and this Sakharov award is given by European Union Parliament annually for to those who work in the field of human rights and freedom of speech. This award was constituted in memory of Soviet physicist and dissident Andrew Sakharov. Next question. International Labour Organization was established in so it was established in the year of 1919. So here B is right answer. International Labour Organization has 187 member states. It became UN's first specialized agency in 1946 and ILO is headquartered in Geneva which is in Switzerland. Remember it is headquartered in Geneva. It was it has 187 members and it was the first specialized agency in 1946 and it was in news recently because ILO observed World Day for Safety and Health at Work on 28th of April since 2003. Next question. Which state launched a mobile application called Help Me? So this app Help Me has been launched by Haryana government. So here B is the right answer. This app will help the needy in the state during the crisis caused by coronavirus outbreak. Next question. Which institute has been ranked first among world global universities for its impact research in areas that help achieve United Nations sustainable development goals? So University of Auckland has been ranked first among the global universities for its research which may help in achieving UN SDGs. So remember the university, University of Auckland. And in India, IIT Kharagpur has been ranked as 57th in global ranking. Next question, Paracel Islands, sometimes in news, is located in, so Paracel Island is located in South China Sea. It is always a matter of dispute between Vietnam, Taiwan and China. While there is also island called Spratly Island. This is also a matter of dispute and it is also located in South China Sea. And it is in news recently because China has unilaterally changed name of 80 islands in South China Sea. Next question now. The first Sakharov Prize was given to. So the first Sakharov Prize was given to jointly to Nelson Mandela and Antoli Markencho. So remember both these names, Nelson Mandela and Anatoly Marchenko. So both of these got this award jointly. Next question. International Delegates Day is celebrated on. So this day is celebrated on April 25th. Delegates play an important role in any negotiations on international forum. So any deal, whenever it is signed between two countries or more than two countries, it is negotiated by delegates of different countries and International Delegates Day marked the anniversary of first day of San Francisco Conference. San Francisco Conference laid the foundation of United Nations. In this very conference, 51 nations came together and laid the foundation of United Nations. This year, that is the year of 2020, is the 75th anniversary of San Francisco Conference. Remember a very important fact that this year is the 75th anniversary of San Francisco Conference. And this conference is also known as United Nations Conference on International Organization. And 25th of April 2020 is the first time that International Delegates Day is being observed. So remember this year 2020 is the first year in which this International Delegates Day has been started to be celebrated. Next question now. Covid Pharma, which is a mobile application, has been launched by. So this Covid Pharma mobile application has been launched by Andhra Pradesh. So here A is the right answer. It will help to track people purchasing medicines over the counter in medical stores for cough, 
cold, fever from medical stores across the state. Next question. Which was first interstellar asteroid to be found? So, Oumuamua was the first interstellar asteroid to be found. What is interstellar asteroid? These are asteroids which travel from proximity of one star to the other. So, they are called as interstellar asteroids and they carry materials from areas of both these stars. That is why these asteroids are very important for research purposes. So remember here Oumuamua is the right answer. Oumuamua was discovered in the year of 2017. This Oumuamua was discovered by Robert Weick using Pan-STARRS telescope. Again here is very important fact. It was discovered using Pan-STARRS telescope at Haleakala Observatory located in Hawaii in US. Next question. Zero malaria campaign was first launched in so this zero malaria campaign was first launched in Senegal so yes C is right answer and this campaign was launched in 2014 and April 25th is celebrated as World Malaria Day the theme for this year is zero malaria starts with me next question Abuja declaration is related to so this declaration is related to malaria so here B is right answer this declaration was signed by 44 malaria endemic countries at the Africa summit on malaria. So don't forget to share these videos with your friends. Like the video if you find it useful. Subscribe to the channel. Answer the question in the comment section. Wait for the upcoming video on Saturday. Until then stay at your home. Stay safe. Thanks a lot.